Gene Trowbridge, and this is my uh, Facebook post uh, for Tuesday. And happy to have you with me. Trowbridge Law Group is a group that works on securities law, doing primarily Regulation D, Rule 506B and 506C offerings. And uh, we're a virtual law firm. We're all around the country. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you about a question that I received uh, from a client. And I thought it would be something that everyone could uh, use the answer to it. And the question was, what securities license is needed to sell a Regulation D Rule 506 offering? Now, the question was really 506B or C, and there's really not, um, there's not any difference uh, if you're talking about what license do you need to sell. And um, the answer is, there's a Series 22 license, and that's called a Direct Participation Program Representative. Some people call it a DPP for Direct Participation Program. And what a Direct Participation Program is, it's a program where all the tax benefits flow through to the investor. So you're not going to sell a corporation. You're not going to sell stock. Uh, you're going to sell limited partnerships and limited liability companies, which is pretty much what private placements are under Regulation D, uh, Rule 506. Now, this license was really used widely in the 1980s when the master limited partnerships were being sold. And if you had a, a series 22 license, you could sell all of the public um, master limited partnerships. Kind of fell out of favor as the public master limited partnerships fell out of favor. In order to get a series 22 license, you have to, first of all, pass a test. And this is a beginning level of securities law, but you still have to do a lot of uh, studying. You pass the test and then you have to find a broker who will accept a series 22 license. In the um, securities world, uh, the broker uh, looks for people who are licensed to join their firm. And uh, depending upon what the broker sells, uh, they may or may not encourage you to get a Series 22 license because all you can sell is the direct participation uh, program. You can't sell stocks, bonds, anything like that. So that would be the direct answer to that. But there are some there are some caveats there. Not every uh, broker dealer wants uh, Series 22 licenses. And actually, there's a Series 39 license, which is a direct participation program broker dealer license. And with that license, um, the, all the salespeople will do Series 22 because that's all they can sell. So, Series 22 is one of the answers to that question. The next answer, which is more broadly used, would be a Series 7. And a Series 7 license is called a General Securities Representative. And when you step up from a Series 22 to a Series 7, or you go directly to a Series 7, you can sell stocks. You can sell direct participation programs. You can sell uh, limited partnerships. LLCs and some stocks and bonds on the public market. So many, many brokers, securities brokers would encourage you to get a series seven because you can sell more things. Okay, so that's the answer to the question, series 22 and series seven. But there's kind of a concern there that I wanna share with you First of all, in our picture of the typical structure of a security, there's a managing member, there's a manager LLC. 
And in the manager LLC, there are the officers and directors. Now, there's something in the securities law called the issuer exemption. And it applies to people who are in the manager LLC. In real estate, we have something called for sale by owner. This is kind of the same thing. The uh, manager, the members of the manager create and sell the interests in the investment LLC. They create and sell their own interests in their own LLC. And so if you want to sell just exclusively interests in the LLCs you form and you operate, you fall under the issuer exemption, which says you can sell your own securities and you don't need any license at all. So most of our clients, if not all of our clients, don't get a securities license. They just simply rely on the issuer exemption to sell their own stock. Even more importantly than that, if you do get a securities license, uh, the way that that works is the broker with whom you hang your license has to approve and do, dil and do due diligence on all the this, this stuff that you sell, all the securities that you sell. And um, if in fact the broker doesn't like the security that you want to sell, you won't be able to sell it because your contract with the broker has a clause that's called selling away. And if you sell away from the product that the broker has approved, from the products that the broker has approved, you will be in violation of the FINRA rules and you will lose your securities license. So what does that mean? Well, that means that if you're gonna bring out your own offerings, and you're gonna go out and get a securities law, a securities license, there's a possibility that your broker won't let you sell your own security. And that's, that's a handicap that you don't wanna work under. So really, if I was gonna to talk to someone about this, as I talked to the client who called and asked me this question, I would start with saying, you know, if you just wanna sell your own securities, let's concentrate on the issuer exemption, the for sale by owner exemption in the securities laws, and let's just concentrate on that. And I think you'll be okay. If you wanna make a living selling uh, securities that other people issue, so you can make a commission, then we need to go to the series 22 or the series uh, seven license. So that's, that's the answer to that question. Uh, that's my uh, Facebook post for today. This is Gene Trowbridge, and I want to remind you that if you want to talk to me, just send me an email, gene at trowbridgelawgroup.com. And in addition, go to our YouTube channel, our YouTube channel, which is YouTube slash Trowbridge Law. We're running a whole program of interviews where Jonathan and I interview people who are in this industry and we call it TLG Talks for Trowbridge Law Group Talks. And uh, those interviews are broadcast on Thursday at noon on um, our YouTube channel. And then of course they're stored and saved on our YouTube channel so you can see them later. But this is our, this at least is my 10 o'clock Tuesday Facebook post. Thanks for joining me.